gonna be all right, John. We should be going for Jack. We will. We have to move everyone first before that bastard Milton comes back with an army. We ain't no use to Jack in jail. We're at the end of a rope. I don't even know what to think no more. Just gotta keep our cool. Be smart about this. Smart? Are you joking? We made too much noise once again. We drew it right to us. I mean, how many people we killed the past few weeks? Dutch playing his games. Hosea, too. Getting involved with those two families. Master con men working their magic. They thought there was a lot of gold. Yeah, they thought there was money. Ain't there always. Look, Marston, I don't know what to tell you. Things don't always work out. That ain't nothing new. Jack's gone. We lost Sean, Mac, Davey, Jenny. And for what? We can't change what's done. We can only move on. But one day, we need to start learning from our mistakes. Come on, it ain't all bad. We've had a rocky run. We'll be okay. We'll get through it. <laughs> Dutch will fix it. Dutch will come up with a big plan. Right now, every plan gets us into worse trouble. We're getting further from where we're meant to be going. Now you can't put all this on Dutch. You're worked up, and rightly so. Just don't get too far in your head with all this. You'll never get out. It's a goddamn mess. That poor kid. We chose this life, he didn't. I don't know, I think this life chose us. You, me, Dutch, Hosea. It's been a long time now. Sure has. Lots changed. All right, should be just down this path to the left here. So you was just talking about something? I sometimes wonder if things was ever the way we remembered them. If we were ever who we thought we was. Like I told you, don't go down a rabbit hole with this, Marston. That won't help nothing. I treated Jack bad. Abigail, too. I didn't want to believe he was mine. You know, when I was lost on that mountain after Blackwater, part of me thought... That's it up ahead. Four walls and a roof. We're moving up in the world. You ain't seen inside it yet. Come on. The sooner we get this done, the better. You sure this place is empty? I ain't sure on nothing. All right. Let's leave the horses here and take a look. I'll check the house. You keep watch out here. I'm coming for you! You hear me? We'll find out who put you up to this. Sorry, boys. This is ours now. Where are you creep? 
Phelps, hot? Come out where I can shoot you! You fools should have left when you had the chance! You think you're tough, Yankee? Come on! Last time! Some of the coward like you. Bounty hunters, the freedmen, the carpet beggars, the army of criminals who stole our land and our government. I survived them all. Our fight will live on. Jesus. How's it looking up there? I think that's a lot. Didn't even have to shoot the last one. Good. Come help me with this, will you? You coming? Finally, some Confederate gold.
trying to escape. I was letting him go. Too late now. Here, give me a hand moving these bodies. Don't want the others walking into this. Are you gonna help me carry these then? Follow me. All right, this way. We'll dump the bodies in the swamp over there. Gators will be eating well today. Okay, I can deal with the rest of the bodies. You go meet up with the caravan, guide them in. All right, see you soon. I hope. We got fine living. 
and all the corpses and the alligators, it's paradise. I love it. Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, would you two kindly work your magic? Arthur, take a ride with me. Sure. Come on. Dodge? Yes. Could I have a word with you? <clears throat> Not now. Come on, Arthur. Can you believe that, girl? All I've got going on, and she wants to talk. Everything okay with you two? I got far more important things to worry about right now than Molly O'Shea. So, where are we going? To take a look at this eighth wonder of the civilized world, San Denis, I keep hearing about. According to the map, the road up this way should lead us right in there. All right. I guess this day ain't over yet. Not quite. Good work back there, Arthur. Everything went okay? A few loose ends. Nothing major. And John? About what you'd expect. He's taking it hard. We're going to get that boy back, whatever it takes. I need you to start asking around in the city for Bronte. Subtly, of course. Public places, maybe start with the saloons. Anyone who can put us in contact with him. Of course. And what about the Pinkertons? I'm fairly sure nobody followed us. We moved out fast. We should be safe for a few days here. And then? I think we need to move a little further. Put some ocean between us and all of this. The mess with those two families. Losing Sean. I see things differently now. For a long time, I truly believed a paradise lay somewhere in the West for us. But I just don't know anymore. So we're leaving the country now? Maybe. I'm still thinking about it. Whatever we do, We'll need more money. In any case, we have more pressing matters to attend to first. Hold. Okay, there she is. A real city. The future. Big cities. Always repellent? Exactly. I'll find you in there. Go see what you can figure out. Yes. Hey, mister. How do you do, sir? Hey there.
goddamn oh, problem. Oh, you're okay, <clears throat> boy. from out. Please, just let me be on my way. Games meet around here. Rookie man can't even put food on the table.
Stick him up, cowboy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, real funny, Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This yeah, city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. And from what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here or not. America's dirty little French seat. <laughs> That's why we love it. Born and raised. Mm. Well, I'm a transplant, but I'm never leaving. Not unless we all get washed away. Uh, hello? I'll get you in a second. But let me tell you something. The rest of the states, they lucky to have us. If it wasn't for us, they'd probably run back to Britain with the tails between their legs at the first sign of trouble. You got that. Now, how can I help? You look like a whiskey man. Sure. Dollar, please. For a whiskey? Sure. That's the real stuff. From Scotland. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. Well, thank you. So, mister, if I ask you a question, you ever hear of a fellow by the name of Bronte? Who's asking? Me, I'm asking. No, leave it, Fred. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you in, but leave it, Fred. You and your pal that was in here before. Bronte? Angelo Bronte. Mr. Big, Mr. Italian, spaghetti eating, long streak of piss big. Yeah, he makes my skin crawl. I'm so spoiled, you cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you talk to them kids in the alley, they'll know how I get. Oh, and friend, you be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. I told you how to find brought this. Get lost. The train conductor who comes through. <laughs> Good day.
Come on now, this sulking doesn't become you. You always have to be right, don't you? I'm just giving you the correct use of the word. If you're feeling sick, you're not nauseous, you're nauseated. Right, you're nauseous and I'm nauseated. You're impossible. Pardon me, but have you seen any kids around this way? Yeah, I think I heard a few in the other courtyard up ahead. You can get through on the left there. So are you done with the silent treatment now? No. Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. I tell you. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What old cost? I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. If you don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, man. Some bad bread. Here. Come on. This away. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Come on, then. You new to the city, mister? Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baird and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Modeled on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but, uh, we all friends now. Isn't that the most beautiful testament to God's love for us all? Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine. Steeples. Hey, hey, <laughs> you little pair of shits! Get going! He's coming after us! Stop! God damn it! shit went that way. Thanks for the help, friend. You know, I kind of miss old Bob Tales. That was absolutely delicious, my dear. Thank you. Remember when they had to bring the mules back out after the snowstorm in 95? Couldn't get the ice off the trolley wires? Technology. All well and good to the ground. Hey, you see a kid about 14 years old run through here? Why, yes, we did. He went around the corner there. Thanks a lot, mister! You better stop right now! Hey! Moron! I promise. 
You look like the last guy stared at me funny. Damn bloody mess. Dios mío. Have you seen what you look like? Excuse me, partner. Morning, friend. I'm telling you, a cucumber is definitely a fruit. Stands for when? Since forever. Fellas. You seen a kid come through here? About 14, 15? Oh yeah, he ran right to us. Ran around the corner there. Good morning, sir. Oops. Oh dear. Good morning, yeah. Hello, sirs. Can I do the same thing? Morning. Good morning, friend. You better stop right now. Mm. What's the problem, friend? Give me my thanks, boy. What are you talking about, friend? I ain't your friend, but that kid is, and he robbed from me. Now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte. Senor Bronte. That kid was gonna show me before he robbed me. Now, come on! You new in town, mister? Come on. Mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends, mister, but I ain't never seen you. We ain't friends. You don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why he gonna care a thing about you? I just wanna speak with him. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. He been mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. <laughs> well, you and your friends should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, yokel. Now, get out of here. Go, boy. <laughs> Can anybody show me some Joseph. kindness?
Hello there. Oh, I don't like seeing how they hey. spiritual wicked. Mind out. Everything with you. Where have you been? Getting robbed? Who by? Bunch of children. <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently lives in a big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. Huh. Good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John, you meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. I cannot decide which I like less, the swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east of land we know, and far from real open country. Uh, buenos dias. 